So we have uh, equations tell us what's in a black hole. Black holes are among the most baffling and intriguing cosmic curiosities. They have such a high density and powerful gravitational pull that not even light can flee from them. It is quite difficult to identify these gluttonous entities, but the Milky Way may contain more than 100 million black holes. A supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A asterisk sits in the center of our Milky Way galaxy. About 26,000 light years from Earth, this enormous structure has a mass roughly 4 million times that of the Sun. And now, because of the work of scientists like Michio Kaku, the secret of the black hole universe has been uncovered. When matter falls into a black hole, what happens? What happens if you fall into one? So where do those black holes take you? Let's find out. Scientists reported finding gravitational waves at the South Pole in 2014, but later reversed their conclusions after realizing the signals had been created by cosmic dust. The findings were produced by two black holes billions of light years away, both 30 times the mass of the Sun, and this time, results were detected by devices specifically built to look for gravitational waves, one in the United States, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory and another in Italy, the Virgo Interferometer, have searched for these waves for years. The recorded sound of the gravitational waves provides a new way for scientists to observe the universe, not just visually, but also through audio. Albert Einstein first proposed the idea of gravitational waves in 1915, but their presence has only been inferred by scientists through calculations up until now. Einstein thought we would never be able to see gravitational waves because they move at the speed of light, rippling through space and time as they move. Gravitational wave evidence could have a significant impact on our knowledge of the cosmos and open new opportunities for research into phenomena that are too far away or challenging to explore without it. This is the first direct indication of Einstein's theory of gravity waves, and I think it's probably worth a Nobel Prize. The next Nobel Prize for Physics will probably go to the physicists behind this project, said theoretical physicist Michio Kaku. He has authored several best-selling books and co-founded the string field theory. The second wave, according to Michio Kaku, occurred during World War II when radio waves were discovered to be useful for providing insight into galaxies, leading to the discovery of space objects like quasars, now known as black holes. The first wave of discovery was Galileo's work with light waves, which demonstrated the Earth revolved around the Sun and shook the Catholic Church and its emphasis on geocentrism to its very core. The third wave, according to Michio Kaku, could be gravity wave detectors. In the first wave, we discovered planets and stars. In the second wave, galaxies. And in the third wave, not only will we discover colliding galaxies, but we will also get into the creation of the universe. We believe that one of the biggest sources of gravity waves is the genesis itself. We might be able to pinpoint exactly what happened when our universe was born if gravitational waves are detected. Even if it's still a pure hypothesis, it's possible that we could learn more about the events leading up to the Big Bang if we had gravity detectors in orbit around the Earth or the Sun and detected radiation from the Great Bang incident. Kaku elaborated on this idea by asking what caused the Big Bang. There are many theories being proposed, but they are not testable. And once we have space-based gravity wave detectors, we should be at the cusp of being able to test for the impossible. That is, the world before the Big Bang. Of course, we don't know, but some people believe perhaps there was an umbilical cord that connected our baby universe to a mother universe. Some of the hypotheses put out in popular science fiction movies may start to come true as scientists learn more about gravitational waves. Since black holes are powerful enough to rip the fabric of space and time, a lot of science fiction revolves around them. If space is a fabric, then of course fabrics can have ripples, as we have now directly observed, but fabrics can also rip. Then the question is, what happens when the fabric of space and time is torn by a black hole? We don't have a way to empirically answer that question, because we don't know very much about black holes, but now we do have a telescope that can observe the precise moment when two black holes collide. This would start a new chapter because there is debate over what happens when someone falls into a black hole. There are various theories surrounding this debate, such as the idea that if you fall into a black hole, you simply vanish, and that's the end of the story. 
Another theory holds that information leaks out when you do, and still others contend that you simply pass through, as in the movie Interstellar. There is another universe at the center of a black hole. If you just look at the math, not the physics, and disregard radiation, quantum effects, and stuff like that. If you saw the movie Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey, they actually use computers to simulate what happens if you fall into a black hole. Some people believe that the cosmos is similar to the black hole because it rotates quickly and is shaped like a ring. And if you fall into the ring, it's like falling through Alice's looking glass. But things don't operate like that. How are black holes created? According to the first pathway, black holes are stellar corpses, meaning they form when massive stars die. Stars whose birth masses are above roughly 8 to 10 times the mass of our sun. When they exhaust all their fuel, their hydrogen, they explode and die, leaving behind a very compact, dense object, a black hole. Another way that black holes form is from the direct collapse of gas, a process that is expected to result in more massive black holes, with a mass ranging from 1,000 times the mass of the Sun up to even 100,000 times the mass of the Sun. This channel circumvents the formation of the traditional star and is believed to operate in the early universe and produce black holes with a mass ranging from 1,000 times the mass of the Sun up to even 100,000 times the mass of the Sun. Do black holes lose mass? Although black holes don't actually die, they are thought to eventually slowly evaporate over very long time scales. Quantum theory suggests that there are virtual particles popping in and out of existence all the time. When this happens, a particle and its companion antiparticle appear, but they can also recombine and disappear again. Black holes grow by the accretion of nearby matter that is drawn in by their intense gravity. Hawking predicted that black holes could also radiate away energy and shrink very slowly. Strange things can happen when this process takes place close to a black hole's event horizon. Instead of the particle-antiparticle pair existing for a brief period of time and then annihilating one another, one of them may escape gravity and fall into the black hole, while the other particle escapes into space. The theory predicts that this trickle of escaping particles will eventually cause the black hole to slowly dissipate over extremely long periods. We are talking about time scales that are far much longer than the age of our universe. Are wormholes black holes? It is thought that the interior of black holes may contain a wormhole, a puncture in space-time, that could provide a portal to another point in space-time, possibly even in a different universe. Wormholes can be thought of as tunnels that connect two distinct points in space and time. How numerous are black holes? Since the Milky Way includes about 100 billion stars, our home galaxy must have roughly 100 million black holes, according to the Space Telescope Science Institute, which estimates that one out of every thousand stars is massive enough to become a black hole. Although it is challenging to find black holes, NASA thinks that the Milky Way may contain between 10 million and a billion stellar black holes. The nickname, the unicorn, has a double meaning. Not only does the black hole candidate reside in the constellation Monoceros, the unicorn, but its incredibly low mass, about three times that of the sun, makes it nearly unique. The black hole candidate is located approximately 1,500 light years away. The first image of a black hole was captured by the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT collaboration in 2019 as it was studying the event horizon or the region past which nothing can escape from a black hole. The image maps the abrupt loss of photons, particles of light, and it also opens up a whole new area of research in black holes now that astronomers know what a black hole looks like. As polarized light waves have a different orientation and brightness compared to unpolarized light, the new image shows the black hole in even more detail and makes it clear that the black hole's ring is magnetized. In 2021, astronomers published a new view of the giant black hole at the center of M87, showing what the colossal structure looks like in polarized light. Scientists unveiled the historic first image of Sagittarius A asterisk, the supermassive black hole at the heart of our galaxy, in May 2022. The singularity, together with the outer and inner event horizons, are the three layers of black holes. A black hole's event horizon is the region surrounding its mouth beyond which light cannot travel. Once a particle crosses it, it cannot return, and gravity is constant across the event horizon. The singularity, or one point in space-time where the mass of the black hole is concentrated, is the area inside a black hole where the object's mass is located. 
Supermassive black holes located in the center of galaxies may become shrouded by the thick dust and gas around them, which can block telltale emissions. Scientists can't see black holes the way they can see stars and other objects in space. Instead, they must rely on detecting the radiation black holes emit as dust and gas are drawn into the dense creatures. Bright jets of material traveling at near relativistic speeds are produced, though the black hole remains invisible, and these powerful jets can be observed from a great distance. Sometimes, as matter is drawn toward a black hole, it ricochets off the event horizon and is hurled outward rather than being tugged into the maw. Because the collaboration of telescopes, which spans across many observatories worldwide, produces an astounding amount of data that is too large to transfer via the Internet, the Event Horizon Telescope's image of a black hole in M87, released in 2019, required two years of research even after the images were taken. The next target is likely to be Sagittarius A, which is the black hole at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy. Sagittarius A is intriguing because it is quieter than expected, which may be caused by magnetic fields smothering its activity, according to a 2019 study. Another study that year showed that a cool gas halo surrounds Sagittarius A, which gives unprecedented information about the black hole. Furthermore, researchers have discovered the possibility of mid-size or intermediate black holes IMBHs. Such bodies could form when stars in a cluster collide in a chain reaction and eventually fall together in the center of a galaxy and create a supermassive black hole. Scientists once believed that black holes came in only two sizes, small and large. In the arm of a spiral galaxy, scientists discovered what seemed to be an intermediate mass black hole in 2014, and in 2021, they used an old gamma ray burst to find one. There have been hints that these medium-sized black holes exist, but IMBHs have been behaving like a long-lost relative that isn't interested in being found, according to study co-author Tim Roberts of the University of Durham in the United Kingdom. Observations of 10 such galaxies, five of which were previously unknown to science before this latest survey, revealed X-ray activity, common in black holes, suggesting the presence of black holes of from 36,000 to 316,000 solar masses. The information came from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which examines about 1 million galaxies and can detect the kind of IMBH that may exist in the heart of dwarf galaxies, or very small galaxies. In addition, Astronomers discovered gravitational waves from merging star black holes in 2015 using the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO. We have further confirmation of the existence of stellar mass black holes that are larger than 20 solar masses. These are objects we didn't know existed before LIGO detected them, said David Shoemaker, the spokesperson for the LIGO Scientific Collaboration, LSC. LIGO's observations also shed light on the direction a black hole spins. As two black holes spiral around one another, they can spin in the same direction or the opposite direction. There are two hypotheses regarding the formation of binary black holes. The first postulates that the two black holes in a binary form at roughly the same time from two stars that were born together and explosively died at roughly the same time. Stronger evidence for the formation theory is provided by LIGO's observations of companion black holes with different spin orientations, which contradict the second model's prediction that black holes in a stellar cluster sync to the cluster's center and pair up with random spin orientations with respect to one another. We might be approaching the moment in the history of the universe when black holes start reaching their limit, which is exciting to think about the consequences of all this. Quasars will start to blink out when black holes age past their peak, and if they stop accreting and developing in this fashion, they'll likewise stop glowing. Meanwhile, it's feasible that the universe contains other black holes that are already ultra-massive in size. There may be ultra-massive black holes hidden right beneath our noses, but no matter how hard we search for them, we will never find them without the glow of a disk rotating around them. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, Make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.